Rama Secondary School are the winners of the 2024 Monetary Policy Committee Schools Challenge. The MPC Schools Challenge is a collaboration between the South African Reserve Bank as well as the Department of Basic Education. The program targets matriculants studying economics and pure mathematics, offering them an opportunity to improve their understanding of monetary policy and economics. I guess a lot of people would want to understand that. The winning learners from Panorama Secondary School um, are all the way from Mpumalanga are with us in studio this morning. We have Ruth Koza as well as Mulimo Mabele. Um, they are joined by the Reserve Bank's communications manager, Matlazi Matlazi. But um, before we speak to them, let's take a look at this snippet from the competition. Well, my question for you is to uh, request you to briefly outline the role of the SAP. What is the role of the SAP? The role of the SAP is to protect the value of the currency in the interest of a sustainable and balanced economic growth. It is also to maintain price stability by keeping the inflation rate within the target band of 3 to 6 percent per annum. Well, and they're joining us now in studio. Who was the one answering the question? Good morning, ladies. Good morning. <laughs> Who was answering the question there? Google it to my lab. Or is Google it? So Google it will be joining us a bit later on. Um, well done. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you very um, much. You know, when people speak about the economy and they say how difficult it is to understand the economy, what got you guys to say, like, I want to go and do this? Ruth, let's start off with you. Okay. Um, can I first say that our teacher got us into this, um, Mr. Pagati. He taught us economics from grade 10. And the way that he presented it to us, the way that he taught it to us, he taught us in a way that we could understand what's actually happening. The economy didn't look like such a difficult thing as people make it to look like. Yeah, and yeah. that's what got us into economics. Yeah, yeah. And for you? <laughs> for me, it was also him. Mr. Pagate is a good economics teacher. He took his time to explain every indicator in the economy, how each indicator affects the output of how the things we do in the economy will look. For mm -hmm. example, if we spend more or if inflation is high, how will it, it, how will it impact us as consumers? If inflation is low, how will it also impact us? So he did a lot for Listen us. Listen to that, hey? they've got the language. <laughs> 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 they've, got the, they've got the language. Before we bring in uh, uh, Matlati, um, I want to understand the makeup of the group. You are the, you are the governor, right, um, yes. Ruth? And then Mulimo is the deputy yeah. governor. How did you guys get to get together and say that, OK, you are now going to be the governor, and you're going to be the, the deputy governor, and the other ones, the commissioners? OK, um, we initially started with this last year. We started as a class, we were all researching the world class. And uh, this year, our teacher came to us and he said, OK, I want the best form out of the class. We've got one economics class. Yeah. And he chose Kendi, he chose Pesitle Nyundu, he chose Gugule Malapani, and he chose me. But I wasn't yet the governor at that yeah. time. The group is the one who voted me as governor. Because oh. <laughs> they believed that I had the leadership skills and the presenting skills to do this. Yeah. So that's how we came about as a team. Yeah, Molima, what is it about Ruth's leadership skills <laughs> that also said to you that our governor, the person who's on par with Lisicha <laughs> Khanyaho, <laughs> is Ruth? <laughs> First of all, Ruth is a very good public speaker. I won't lie. And second of all, Ruth has the best leadership qualities I've ever seen in a person. Mm. Like Ruth, every time she would push us to do better. At break, she would be like, guys, it's time to research. Guys, it's time to discuss our essay. Sometimes she would even call us at night. Guys, are you actually researching or are you sleeping? <laughs> <laughs> did you watch the MPC announcement? <laughs> yes, we did. We did. <laughs> uh, Matati Matase is also joining us in studio. She is the communications manager at the Reserve Bank. A very good morning to you as well. Um, I remember many, many years ago when we were working together and you used to say that, you know, one day I just want to go and cut ribbons, you know, and have beautiful <laughs> stories that I tell about the country. And listen to this. This is one of my favorite uh, social investment program within the South African Reserve Bank. We get to interact with more than a thousand learners across the country. And as they said, it's basically a program designed to inspire them to follow a career in economics, investing in the future of South Africa. They get to step into the roles of governors and deputy governors. They get to use real time data. Mm -hmm. And it's about also exposing them. I mean, some of the things that the learners have said to us is that I didn't know that I could work at the South African Reserve Bank. Yeah. And now we've got so many of them saying that 
wait for me, warm that bench for me, because <laughs> when I finish my degree, I'm going to be back working for the Reserve Bank. And for us as the Reserve Bank, we've seen the results. We've got so many economists working at the Reserve Bank nice. who started where these learners have actually really? started. Yes, they were finalists in the MPC Schools Challenge. Today, they are part of the teams that are presenting data to the governors when MPC Week actually starts. And it's about exposure. It's about giving them uh, uh, the opportunity. But also, there is a bursary that also goes with this competition, but also just getting the teachers also to be excited because it's about economics theory yeah. that they also get to apply. So I'm not cutting ribbons, but I'm <laughs> definitely, definitely very happy that, you know, you can see young people yeah. uh, getting an opportunity to do great. And not just young people, mm. these are young black girls. And we are impressed every year. Uh, the governor was saying yesterday, the future governor, the future is female, and the future <laughs> governor is definitely female. And we are seeing it because we know that in South Africa, in some of these industries, they've been male dominated. So yeah. it is important that we bring in more girl learners. And somebody said to me in the past few years, it's actually been the girls teams, the girl teams that have actually been winning this competition. And that is actually quite encouraging because it means the workforce will also uh, change. We will see more women in senior roles and making important decisions about the economy of this country. And that's where the solutions are going to yeah. come from. Females, right? <laughs> okay, so, so who wrote the MPC statement? We wrote it as a team. You wrote it, you wrote it as, as, as a team. Mm -hmm. What insights can you share from your MPC statement? Who wants to go? Um, so our MPC statement, uh, the way we wrote it is similar to the real MPC statement. Yeah. So the way we write it, we divide it. There's the global outlook, there's the economic indicators and inflation indicators. And at the end, based on what we wrote, we are supposed to make a decision. And our decision was to cut the interest rates. Yes! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Your decision is to cut the interest rate. Yes. <laughs> Ruth, why do you want to cut the interest rate? Okay, when we did this, we looked at indicators such as consumer spending, and it is not really doing well at the moment. And by us cutting the interest rate, it's going to increase consumer spending, and that will cause an increase in economic activity. It will also result in businesses producing more goods and services because there'll be a greater demand yeah. for goods and services, which will actually stimulate economic growth. I That's have to tell you, there are many, many adults <laughs> <laughs> that are listening to this conversation and they're like, I totally agree with them. I disagree with the MPC uh, the, being led by um, Lisi Chakanyaho. And we do expect uh, the announcement. Is it at the end of September, right? Uh, 18th September. The, eight, yeah. the, eight, the 18th of September. Some people are saying that they expect um, a rate cut. I don't know what Matlati can uh, tell us about that. Is there any? <laughs> <laughs> As we were listening to the governors, yeah. <laughs> but it's really, it's really interesting the insights that you have around how the economy works and how it operates and being able to instill that. And again, for children who will be watching this clip, uh, Matlati, what is the message that you're sending? We want to encourage them to enter this program. You know, um, there has been some concerns of less and less uh, learners taking on pure maths and economics, which are the yeah. things that we need so that they can study economics and contribute to the future of this country. So. Those that are still going to decide on their subjects, we want to say to them, please consider pure maths and economics so that you can be part of finding solutions for this country. But also we want to encourage the teachers. This is a great opportunity for your learners. The, the, what you're doing in class, they get to practice it. We've been also told that some of the questions that are uh, related to monetary policy have been part of the grade 12 economics uh, examination. Mm. So this is not a wasted time. I expect time. flying colors, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm also <laughs> expecting flying colors and A's. And we want to say to them, come to the competition. We run these uh, workshops throughout the country. The economists in the bank are there to uh, invest in these learners and give them their time and also their mm. knowledge. And it's, it's complementary. And we really do appreciate the work that we also do with the Department of Basic Education, just making sure that the schools are aware and they enter. But we need to do more to make sure that there's more and more learners that are taking on maths and yep. um, economics so that we can have that pipeline of future governors uh, coming through. Yeah. Um, Ruth, I'm going to ask you to look into which camera? Let's see. Is it camera one? Let's look into camera one. Um, can Ruth look into camera? Is it camera one or camera two? Let's see which one can, can we get Ruth on. Okay, we're going to get Ruth on camera two. Okay, Ruth, look at camera two. I want you as the um, 
as 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 Gonjo as as our as our governor, yes, as our governor, <laughs> uh, to make a call to South Africans around why we should be interested in the economy and why the economy is important. I'm one of those people who believe that um, the economy should actually be part uh, should be a subject that becomes mandatory across all um, all the different spheres of the basic education. But I'd like you to look into that camera and tell us why. Okay, first of all, the economy impacts all of us. We are all part of this economy. Everything that we do will impact the economy. Econo economics is divided into two parts. There's microeconomics and there's macroeconomics. Now, microeconomics looks at every individual, the decisions that you make and how you come to buy certain things, your demand for certain goods and services, and that affects you as an individual. And I believe that it will be better if you understand that every decision that you make will affect yourself and another person. And uh, that's a reason why you should look into economics. Yeah. And also look at macroeconomics. Look at how it affects other countries. Look at how governments are affected. Look at how other systems are affected. And as a person, it would be ignorance if you do not know that. Yeah. Uh, nice you. one, nice Think one. We have an ambassador yeah. for the Reserve yeah. Bank there. <laughs> <Just, just, yeah. laughs> um, Mulimo, I want you to now look at camera one. Uh, this okay. camera one over there. Um, and I want you to thank the people that have been supporting you. Uh, you spoke about, is it Mr. Pagat a bit earlier on? Yes, yeah, so I but, but also the other people, the family, mm -hmm. the friends, the people that are saying to Mulimo that Mulimo, you can do this. First of all, I would like to thank again Mr. Pagate. Second of all, I would like to thank our language department at school, especially Ms. Fleshman, our English teacher. She did a lot for us, presentation-wise, when she was preparing us. And I would also like to thank our fellow deputy governors, Gugule yeah. Tumalabani and Spesa well, Kemiundi. as they walk on to set. <laughs> <laughs> and then I would set. also like to thank our classmates, our family and friends. Yeah, our, okay. Their support meant a lot to all us. Right. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, Ruth Koza, Mulimo Mabele, and thank behind you. them is Sipesi Lenyundu, and we also have Kukule to Malapane as well as Mr. Pagati. Mr. Pagati, well done. <laughs> yes. I'm sure you're proud, proud, proud of these learners. <laughs> <laughs> and they've put your name right up there. Well done, congratulations uh, to all of you ladies. Thank you very uh, much. Mr. Pagati, congratulations to you as well. You must be very proud of these students. Mashati, well done on this project. Thank you very much. And all the best, all the best. So if you want to find out more of around uh, this program, just go onto the Reserve Bank's website and you'll find more details relating to that. Congratulations. One day we're going to see them as economists and perhaps have them on the show to come and give us analysis around what's happening with the country's economy.